Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to watch another Cyberpunk 2077 video. This one is the official gameplay trailer. Now I haven't seen this thing yet. It dropped yesterday, I believe. Uh, I'm going to just go through this thing, make some stupid comments, give you sort of my feel and my take on things. Every so often I might pause it, and if I get a chance, we'll come back at the end and sort of go through certain things that I see here and there. Uh, I am no expert on this game whatsoever. I have never played the tabletop RPG of Cyberpunk. I'm much more of a Shadowrun player myself. But anyway, let's hop right into this thing and check it out. It's a lock on us! Engine's been hit! Get us out of here! I'm losing control! At CD Projekt Red, we dedicate ourselves to telling immersive stories. Yet with every new project, we set out to make our games bigger, more complex... Okay, that's something I was not aware would be a thing in the game. Every new project, we set out to make our games... I didn't know that they actually had underwater exploration. We set out to Man, make I our games... it. There you go. That looks like a farm. Like, how the hell do you have a farm underwater? You got your fence right here like you're going to corral some pigs or cattle or something. Was this an old house? Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe they flooded the area. A dam burst. Who, who knows? But yeah, uh, underwater exploration. This game's just getting bigger and bigger. It's bigger, more complex. That was definitely an old church in the Come on, V. Although it is possible that that's some sort of a VR thing now that I think about it. Uh, they just showed a little bit of VR. Well, I keep missing it again. Complex. That right there. So it, it could possibly be a simulation that you're in instead of actual underwater. Either way, it looks neat. Engaging. Come on, V. Let's get you home. Cyberpunk 2077 marries exploration of a vast open world with kinetic combat, story-changing player choices, and robust character development. All hey, they actually gave them clothes this time, I noticed. See? In all the other trailers that I've seen of the gameplay, they, they're pretty much naked. They all blurred out. But... Trust character development. All to bring you into our vision of the dark future. You ever feel like the city doesn't give you a choice? This gold look like Mr. T. You alive in it. Or you never existed at all. The year is 2077. An economic crisis culminating in nuclear conflict has left America in pieces. With most of the continent degenerating into lawless war zones, people from all over have converged on the already overcrowded Night City, one of the world's last great megalopolises. A hub amassing the... Okay, I'm pretty sure I've seen this guy before. I think he was in the RoboCop movie, and if I recall correctly, he killed a whole bunch of corporate guys there at the end. Uh, no, but seriously, though, that is badass and i can't wait to try to take on one of these things in the game i'm so looking forward to this best in resources and know-how and home to manufacturers of cutting-edge technologies night city continues to offer the promise of a civilized future what no no this isn't happening oh but it is but in oh the but it is you got you some new arms power rages gangs Corporate agents, hustlers, religious cultists, politicians, and all manner of criminals strive to outplay one another. Ordinary people get caught in the crossfire. Looking for justice. Man, it would suck in to Night City. Hell. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. In this world, consumed by never ending conflict, sometimes only an outsider will get the job done. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. And that's you, an urban mercenary, a cyber-enhanced gun for hire. You seem to understand each other. Take this, too. As a mer now, hold on a second. Are, are they actually dealing in cash here? Like, what do we have there? Back this up. Yeah, like, he's handing him cash. You would think that by this point in the future, cash would be not even just outdated, but just gone completely. Uh, as it stands, even in today's society, in 2020, we have cryptocurrencies. Uh, I would imagine that another 57 years in the future, that cash is just gone, especially in this sort of a setting. Um, 
I don't really know though because it is based off of the tabletop RPG and maybe cash is a primary method still. Uh, I'm not sure what the original writers intended, but certainly hope that within that amount of time it's gone. As a mercenary, you swear no allegiance. You've chosen the outlaw life and trust that your abilities will carry you up Night City's ruthless underground social ladder. Heart of Night City. That's it right there. To thrive as a merc, you need the right combination of gear, skills, and reputation. Dex had a load to say about you. I hope he wasn't overselling. With the money you earn, you can turn yourself. Oh, I haven't seen this screen yet. So this is actually, it looks like your cyberware that you get to upgrade, or at least all of the locations and kind of what you have installed. Kind of neat nervous system. Uh, I can't actually say that word. Integumentary system. Uh, kind of looks like dermal plating, if you're familiar with the shadow run. Basically, body armor. That's what that kind of looks like. Anyway. ...into a living weapon, buying guns and enhancements in the hundreds. As you roam the city streets, you gain the experience you need to upgrade abilities and acquire... So here's... This is neat. I haven't seen this either. I knew there was going to be a bit of a skill tree, but now it's nice to actually sort of get a look at it and how it's going to be laid out. Fire perks. Combine the right skills and gear to create a gunslinger with inhuman Whoa. reflexes. A oh, they actually net do have robots. Command of all surrounding tech. I mean, I knew about the big ones, but I wasn't aware you were going to have smaller ones, kind of like in Star Wars. Or practically anyone in between. Oh. And that's why in you don't Cyberpunk get robotics put in your head, because you'll get hacked a prototype and shoot yourself. That can set you up for life. Being filthy rich. When its sealed container is ruptured, the only way to prevent the biochip from failing is to slot it into your head. It turns out it contains the digitized soul of... Hold on a second. That is almost certainly the premise of Johnny Mnemonic. Listen to this again. The only way to prevent the biochip from failing is to slot it into your head. Okay, so if you've ever seen the movie Johnny Mnemonic with Keanu Reeves, mind you, who apparently plays this guy in the game, it is the idea of he's a, an information runner, and he takes a chip that has too much data on it. Like, it's breaking down, and it starts to corrupt his memory systems, and it will kill him by the end of the movie. Uh, spoilers if you haven't seen this movie from the 1990s, for the love of goodness. Uh, but yeah, that sort of seems like what this is. You, you put this thing in your head, it starts to corrode and degrade. Next thing you know, you're up shit creek. Good job. It turns out it contains the digitized soul of Johnny Silverhand. Yeah, a dead the digitized boy soul of Johnny Dumont. His mind. It means to say there's an actual terrorist in my head right now. He's out for revenge. Aims to bring down the megacorp that made the chip. Do whatever it takes to stop him. So that's also cool. We're actually finally getting to see a little bit more of the actual plot behind this game. Uh, as far as I've known up to this point, and maybe it's already been released, I haven't seen it until just now. But yeah, it's going to be you trying to stop these megacores because you have this guy stuck in your head. Man, you really shouldn't be sticking things in your brain like that. Feed him, gut him. What is in your head can shift the balance of power in Night City. The high and mighty will do anything to lay their hands on it. Told you I'd end you someday. Looks the like choices you make guys. will shape your story and determine how events unfold. V, you gotta take them down. That's why we're here. But not everything in Night City is a matter of life and death. Sometimes it's about style. Holy crap, look at those. I want that purple suit. That is amazing. I would definitely wear that for real. And mind you, I tend to wear t-shirts. So <laughs> that's just so flashy. Oh man, I can't wait. Choosing your look, your ride, your pastime, who's at your side. Choosing how you spend your dirty money. <laughs> Roller coaster? What the hell? They have a theme park you can play in. Looks like you 
shoots a basketball too. Go swimming off the coast. Welcome on to a yacht. the next generation of open world adventure. Immerse yourself in Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> Okay, guys. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you enjoyed my dumbass comments. And I will see you in the next video. Make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. You know the story. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching.